Hey guys, just a quick video to show you that I've changed my hair again. Um, I got some green on this side, but um, I'm, I'm still blue here. My hair's a bit fucked because I didn't actually wash it. I just um, straightened it and conditioned it so it looks really straw-like. Normally it doesn't look this bad, but um, I put green on this side. It's actually more vibrant in person than it's looking on the camera, but um, the red like the red just faded out right away I, I had one wash and then it turned to mud and then I washed it again and then it was like pink mud <laughs> and then I washed it again and then it just looked like blonde with brown with pink with green it was really gross and uh, I washed it maybe once every four days or so I was really careful about not washing it very often because I know that red doesn't stick, but I didn't expect it to fade the way that it did. I was basically having to put dye on almost every single day just to keep it fresh. And it ended up looking like shit within the first, the first wash, the first rinse. So, as you can see, red does not stay at all. The blue is beautiful. The blue is still just as bright. This is after two washes. I just washed it the second time. It's very foul. And on this side, um, blue, there's a little bit of fade there and at my temple. But that's really about it. Aside from that, there's nothing really going on. So I'm going to bleach this side again. You can see in the back. I don't know how I can get it to show, but there's my blue over there, and there's a lot of regrowth on this side. It's just completely come back, and it's big old gaps of bleached parts that make it look like bald spots. And just overall, not very pretty. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to go green this time because the blue based obviously is really good and the red doesn't stick. So I'm scared that purple will do the same thing and purple won't stick either. So that's why I'm going for green and I guess I will come back when that's done. And um... So then I bleached this side, and I'm not sure if I got pictures or video, but when I bleached it, I don't think I did actually, a lot of the red stayed, even though I bleached it. Uh, it, it was like this patches and patches of red, like what the fuck, you didn't want to stay on, but then I bleach you and then you stay on. So that kind of sucked. And I put green over it, and the green didn't want to stick, so then I, had, I mixed a little bit of blue with the green, hoping that the blue would catch on, and it kind of did. And so together, I think it looks pretty cool. It's, it definitely goes together a lot better than the red and the, it doesn't clash like the red and the blue did. And when I'm done with the green bottle that I have, I have like one and a quarter bottle left or one and an eighth. When I'm done with this, then I'm gonna go purple on this side. So I'll do blue and purple. And then once I'm done with that, I might go all blonde or, um, like just lift up the top part of my hair and do one color and then have the underside another color I'm not quite sure but I need to see how well the colors stick before I do that because obviously having the hair on top of each other when you rinse it or wash it the colors will kind of bleed into each other blue by far is my favorite it doesn't go anywhere it just stays it's bright it's vibrant it's beautiful um, green so far I'm not really sure I've I've just put it on and I've rinsed my hair but like I said I haven't actually like put soap in it yet or washed it um, and purple I don't know how well purple stays but some people are like you looked better with uh, with your hair with some black in it and you know with darker hair and all that and that might be true to some of you some of you like it like this some of you liked it like that some of you liked it half and half some of you liked it all black the reason that I'm dying it so much is because, like I've explained in other videos, I had dyed my hair black 
when I was 13 years old. I asked my mom if I could dye my hair. She asked me what color. I said light blonde, like, oh my god, valley girl blonde, or red, or black. And she dyed her hair black all the time, so she bought me black dye. And from then on, my hair has been black. And I've tried countless times to bleach it or to get rid of the black. I'd stopped dyeing my hair. Before I knew that hair bleach and real bleach were different, I was dipping my hair in actual real bleach. Um, it didn't burn my hair off, but of course it didn't bleach it either. I've tried store-bought hair dye removers. I've tried everything, and the most I succeeded in getting were little streaks in my hair or streaks underneath here, but I didn't ever get full-on color like I've always wanted. I went to a hairdresser here, and she charged me like 300 bucks, and I got my hair bleached like four times in a row, boom, 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 and it only did, she only did like the top layer like this much hair, and I was kind of upset about that because I wanted all my hair bleached, and she's like, that's going to cost thousands, I can't possibly do that, and she couldn't even, like, grabbing the top layer of my hair, she couldn't even get it bleached down to the, the bottom, not on mine, not on Logan's, and we've spent almost a thousand dollars between us trying to get both of our hair bleached so that we could dye it the colors that we wanted to dye it which really really sucked and uh, because it wasn't anything like what I wanted it to be and then Emily sent me a box of Schwarzkopf um, Nordic Blonde she says that's what she uses and to try it out and it was my last hope. If that didn't work, I would have just gone all black again and just stayed and forgotten my dream of ever having colored hair. And I tried it, and it made my hair poof. Just supermarket shit got rid of all the black dye. And so from then on, I started buying the kind that we have here, which is also Nordic Blonde, just not the extreme good stuff that she has. And it has succeeded in bleaching my hair. And so I'm really, really happy because now after 21 years of trying to get my hair colored, I can finally color my hair. I can do any color I want, whenever I want, and this is something I've envied in people t for 21 years, and I can finally do it, and I can do it myself for the cost of a fucking $12 box of bleach and then a $12 tube of color, and I couldn't be fucking happier. I'm over the moon and so I'm going to be experimenting with colors and stuff and figuring out what I like and what looks best before I dare put black back in my hair so be prepared for lots of color if you don't like it oh well good thing it's on me and not you <laughs> but um, I just wanted to explain a little bit and excited to see what I'm gonna come up with next and how it's gonna be and I think this is gonna be great I've done Logan's hair as well the back of his hair is black and all his front bangs are bright red. He hasn't let me take a picture of him yet, but when he does, uh, like a good picture, I will upload it and do a little video of it because I think that it looks quite cool. Though, of course, being red, it's now like ginger and it needs to be redone. But um, yeah, just a quick video update and I'll see you guys soon.